now i will request professor one is uh, renowned professor professor rafael esteban he is a professor of internal medicine and liver unit of hospital universitario valdi hebron in barcelona and he is a member of american association for study of liver disease he had been member of scientific committee of european association for the study of liver disease and secretary of spanish association for the study of liver disease though no cure for chronic hepatitis b but what is functional cure what is its significance and how it can be achieved let us get thoughts of professor dr rafael esteban thank you thank you very much for the introduction so uh, this is a difficult presentation so how to achieve a functional cure in chronic hepatitis b so the last decade has been excellent in terms of uh, new drugs for hepatitis b and you can observe that from lamivudine in 1998 till uh, taf in 2016 there are entecavir pec interferon tenofovir so excellent drugs to treat hepatitis b nevertheless the current therapies have many pros they are oral drugs they have an excellent suppression of viral replication the majority of patients become hbb dna negative in serum in good safety profile and the indications are for e positive or e negative patients with patients with chronic hepatitis b liver cirrhosis even those with decompensated cirrhosis but they also have some cons there is a long term therapy maybe long life there is a very low hbsg clearance rate so the majority of patients continue to be hbsg positive the risk of hepatocellular carcinoma until is decreased compared to those non treated patients persist and this is not indicated in chronic hbv infection in, in immunotolerant and inactive carriers so which are the goals of hbv therapy of course suppress viral replication that means to get hbv dna negative in the serum to get a decrease in the concentration of hbsg this is partial cure this is what we get now with the current therapy but we would like to have a functional cure that means hbsg negativization with a decrease in the ccc dna and the negativization of ccc dna would be the complete cure of the infection and this is far away this is very difficult to get and i think that we have a long way to achieve this end point so hbv dna suppression is easy to get with the current therapies hbsg decline okay immune response is difficult to uh, achieve with the current therapies and we need finite duration of therapy we cannot treat forever long life all patients so there are emerging treatment targets for hbv if you take a look 
to the cycle of the virus, you have different targets to go on to apply to trying to block the uh, HBV replication. And you can use entry inhibitors, so to block the entry of the virus into the hepatocyte, you can use inhibitors of HBSAG release. Nucleosides do that. You can target the CCC DNA or the RNA of the virus. And finally, you can try to improve the response, the immune response to the virus, to the help the innate immunity modulation. So three different ways to approach the new treatment of hepatitis B. First, inhibit viral replication. And you can do that with the NUCs, but with the different uh, small interference RNA, the uh, capsid assembly drugs, or you can go to a lower viral antigen button with the small interference RNA, oligonucleotides, and finally you can boost the immune response and you can do that with the TLR agonist. One example, the Bicorbir and a combination with a NUC for 76 weeks in E positive or negative patients with chronic hepatitis B is a phase two study and you can observe there is an important HPV DNA reduction. There is a decrease, small decrease in the HPV pregenomic RNA, but the change from baseline of the HVSOG is very limited. 40% of patients present a decrease of more or less 0 0.5 lux. So this is not too much. This is not enough to achieve a good result. So probably this is not the best way to go to get a functional cure of the infection. And again, and this is a problem, this is an issue. Many patients after discontinuation of the drug, of the treatment, present with ALT flares. These are dangerous, especially among patients with uh, end stage or with decompensated chronic liver disease. So in that sense, it does not seem that this combination could go uh, for a functional cure. No patients experience HBSOG loss, so, so really uh, I don't mind that this is not an excellent combination. So let's move now to lower viral antigen burden. And this is the use of a small interference RNA with a capsid assembly modulator in combination. And this is very extremely surprising that the combination is worse than the use of the drug alone. There is a dose dependent response so at the highest dose of 200 milligrams, uh, 
at week 48, 19% of patients met primary endpoint with the greatest reduction of HBSG levels from baseline, roughly 2.6 blocks of decrease. And 74% of patients achieved HBSG less than 100 international units per ml. All regimens within this long-term study were generally well tolerated and safe. So, probably this is a way to go combining two uh, medicines. So, I'm quite sure that the future treatment of hepatitis B will be combination therapy with different drugs to achieve the end point. Let's move now to the big star. This is up to now the best medicine we have to get a functional cure. This is the uh, Bepirobirsin, very difficult to say, uh, GSK drug in patients with chronic hepatitis B. This is a complex uh, study using different doses of the drug and combining with in patients with NUC therapy, stable on NUC therapy or not currently on NUC therapy. And combining with placebo or not. These are the results. And I have to tell you, roughly 30% of patients achieved HVSOG clearance, HVSOG negativization. That's excellent compared to other uh, drugs. So, stratifying by the HVSOG baseline, we can see that those with lower HBSOG achieved the negativization compared to those with more than three locks uh, HBSOG concentration baseline. So I think that this is up to now the best way to get a functional cure. The phase three trials are initiating with this uh, compound and we hope to have the results in a short period of time. So finally, we can go to boost the immune response of the host versus the infection. And different uh, medications have been used. The TRR8 agonist has been uh, used in this situation in viremic chronic hepatitis B patients. The drug was safe and well tolerated, but the decline of the HVSG was very moderate, was roughly 0 0.5 lux, uh, which is not very uh, optimistic. So again, I think that these uh, drugs, at least alone, will not achieve a functional cure. Maybe in combination with uh, other uh, drugs could be of interest. And finally, you can try to restore the HBV-specific immune response with a therapeutic vaccine. And this is one example, the BR2179 in chronic hepatitis B patients. This is a phase 1B to a study and they are trying to restore, to improve the uh, immune response by using the combination of pre-S1, pre-S2 
and S uh, antigens uh, to use as a vaccine to restore the immune response. But let me tell you that this type of vaccine did not modify the HBSG levels during the study. So again, again, I think that alone this type of medication, the vaccines will not uh, work in, in those patients. So probably the combination of a nucleocapsid assembly medication an oligonucleotide and a vaccine probably used uh, in combination may achieve this response. But I'm quite a septic. So two months ago, we had a meeting to celebrate the birthday of Michael Manns in Hanover. And there were some scientific, some investigators, European investigators. And the question was, do you think that in five years we will get the functional cure of hepatitis B? And I personally answered that I was very sceptic. In five years, it will be very difficult to get the functional cure. Other people thought that it would be possible. So at least this was last year. In one year, we have not progressed to get this functional cure. So in summary, uh, dear friends, the majority of emerging HPV therapies are still in phase one or two and preclinical. Some of them are toxic. This is a very important point. So safety of these drugs uh, have to be uh, assured before the uh, availability of these drugs. Selected patients uh, with chronic hepatitis B uh, without comorbidities would be treated with these drugs. Several studies with new drugs show an increase in viral suppression and reduction in HBSOG levels, but very exceptionally negativization of HBSOG. There is a partial modulation of immune response and very few data on off treatment response to support a finite duration of therapy. This is very important. Because again, if we have to treat forever, long life, those patients, this is a, an important issue, not only from adverse events, but also for the, by the financial uh, issue of these uh, drugs. So new drug combination studies are ongoing and will help on the design of better strategies to treat hepatitis B. But uh, this is not tomorrow morning. So uh, I think we have a long way to go before having these combination drugs. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Professor Rafael. It's still a long way to achieve functional cure in chronic hepatitis B.